back to Stories from Ashley's Childhood. Today I'm going to tell you all a little bit more about this family cruise that we went on. So, first of all, if you've not been on a cruise, there's a lot of stuff on a boat that should never be on a boat. For example, they have these rock walls that you can like climb on. And I, I get that you're in a harness and like there's all these safety parameters and you're not going to fly off into the ocean. But I'm terrified of heights, so that's not how my brain works. Uh, but anyway, so our whole family is standing around watching people do the rock walls, you know, little kids freaking out. And if it were me, I'd be freaking out. But anyway, we're standing there and um, somebody mentions that my father could not climb up the rock wall and ring the little bell. So in order to defend his masculinity, my father chimes in, gaze fixed on the rock wall reaches out towards my stepmom and says, hold my beer. Let's go. Goes up to the little man. I don't even know that you could call him a man. He's probably like barely 18 running this rock wall. So the guy, dad goes up and the guy gives him the little harness, gets him buckled in and is walking him through, you know, you're going to climb up, I'm ringing the bell. So once he gets the okay, dad scales up this wall in like 12.7 seconds, something ridiculous and rings the bell like Armageddon is about to begin. He's just, ding, 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 like aggressively. It was, it was a scene. Everybody is staring like what, th everybody's turning around thinking this is gonna be some child that overcame their fear of heights, right? And climbed all the way up and they're super proud. Ringing. No, this is a grown ass man ringing a bell because he proved to somebody that he could climb this rock wall. And then he just like kangaroo kicks off of the rock wall and free falls down, which had to terrify little dude, like, on belay because he's probably used to little kids jumping off. And he's like, okay, we're going to slow things down. And then dad just, like, kicks off. And he's like, I, I, I don't, I don't. Ooh. So anyway. So yeah. Um, dad, dad proved whoever. I don't even remember who said he couldn't do it. But he proved them wrong. And then, you know, took off the harness, came over, and finished his beer. Another weird thing they have on cruises, maybe not all cruises, but certainly on this cruise that we went on, was this uh, wave simulator that you could like boogie board on or like stand up surf on. And uh, so since we had such a big group, we reserved it for like a whole hour one morning and we go up and we're all taking turns. You know, most of us are trying to just kind of body board it. And <laughs> a lot of us were too light. So we would jump on to body board it and it would fling us back against the wall. Uh, but some people, you know, kind of got the hang of it. They were able to, you know, overcome the current. And so then they, they would get brave enough to try the stand-up method. And my stepmom was one of these people that tried the step up stand-up method. <laughs> so the guy, they're like balancing hands and he holds, you know, they're balancing until she gets into the right spot and holds for a second. And then he lets go and she's... <laughs> She's doing all right for probably about, you know, 30 to 40 seconds. She's balancing. She's basically surfing. And then the best description is my dad's description that it's kind of like in the Avengers when the Hulk picks up Loki and it's just like, bam, 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 bam. She goes from pretty good, you know, surfing all right to bam, Hulk smash, like face plant into the wave rider, just completely done. She and the boogie board go flying back. And everybody watching, people in the family, people on like the observatory deck that is like just a running lap, everybody that witnesses this is just like, oh, it was so bad. It had to hurt so bad. But by some miracle, she didn't like break her nose. There was no bleeding or like facial bruising. Like by some miracle, she came out of it fine. But like everybody looked at it and was just like, oh. Nobody, nobody wanted to be Lisa in that moment. Nobody. That had to be painful. It had to hurt. Um, so since, I, since I've shared some embarrassing stories from other people, I will be gracious enough to share my own embarrassing moment from this cruise. So I was in this wonderfully awkward age where I wasn't old enough to drink, but I was like too old to do any of the fun kids activities. So I mostly just like people watched and walked around with family. And uh, one of my cousins convinced me that you could see into the gym 
from this window. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of creepy. And he's like, no, no, it's tinted. And I was like, okay. So I'm peering in this window. I'm like, oh, oh, your form is terrible. Who, who told you that workout outfit is okay? That, that looks awful. Are you in flip flops? So we, you know, we get a good laugh at this and continue on our like walking around and people watching. And we end up circling back and going inside of the gym, you know, cause they have like classes and whatever, just out of curiosity, see what we could do. And we go in and my cousin nudges me and points at the window, which is not in fact tinted, not in the slightest. You can see right through this window, like a hundred percent everybody in that gym saw me judging them. Like we legitimately made eye contact. It was a real thing. So I'm, I'm mortified. I just, I book it right on out of the gym. I'm like, nope, nope, not going to be a part of this. Make my way, you know, wherever else, anywhere else on this boat. And, uh, yeah, we just, we just never spoke of it again. So some lessons from episode two of three on the family cruise trip. Uh, number one, don't underestimate a dad at a rock climbing wall. Okay. He's going to be overly dramatic about climbing this wall. Every dad will. Don't question a man's masculinity at a rock wall. Number two, if you're going to do the wave rider, you should probably pack some ibuprofen. Cause I mean, if you're not a little kid, you're going to be a hurting. It's, it's going to be bad. Oh, just thinking about it. I'm my whole body hurts. Pack some ibuprofen. Number three, don't go peeping in windows. Okay. It's creepy. It's wrong. It's weird. And don't let your cousins convince you that the window is tinted. I, I don't know why I believed that the window would be tinted in like the reverse order of what would be normal, right? Like you want to block the sun coming in and yet somehow I believed that they would block me. I, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Don't believe your cousins. They're probably just messing with you. Don't peep in the windows. It's, it's creepy and weird. Um, so yeah, tune in next week to hear about our snorkeling excursion in Cozumel, Mexico. Cheers.